there. I have uh, been to over 200 Arsenal games since 2010. Some at Wembley, some away, but mostly at the Emirates. But this season, it's uh, it's so hard to get tickets this season because literally every game is selling out within the same day. So <laughs> there's not much you can do uh, when uh, when you miss out. Um, I just about got this one as well. And I got kind of unlucky because like me personally, I work every other weekend, every two weekends I work. So I got, I need the home game to fall on the weekend where I'm off. And uh, that doesn't happen most of the time. This season, the first game I could go to was Tottenham. And I couldn't go to that one because when it went on sale, I was in Australia. <laughs> so I, I didn't know it went on sale. So I missed out because of that. And uh, I, I missed out on this actually as well. Like I was in, I was in Germany. Uh, when this game went on sale. I went on a ticket exchange, which is uh, an Arsenal service where season ticket holders, they can resell their tickets to members through the Arsenal website. At, I don't think, I don't know if it's face value, but it's close to face value, right? So it's like a, it's like a controlled Arsenal system. So I went on there and I refreshed the page for this game and the Tottenham game so many times. I couldn't get the Tottenham game. The Tottenham game, one seat popped up. It was 350 quid. 350 quid for club level, which is like the premium level seats. I'm just like, I'm not paying that much. So uh, I kept refreshing for this game. Eventually I found one for like, like I think it was like 40 pounds. So that was a good deal. So uh, yeah, now I'm going to this game. The first game this season, again, been to over 200. <laughs> and I've been to at least, you know, at least like a good few every season. This season, the first is this, and it might be the only game I go to this season before the World Cup. I mean, it is actually, it is. After the World Cup, um, I, I could go to the West Ham game on Boxing Day. But that's crazy. Like, before the new year, it could just be this and West Ham, or it could just be this. Because <laughs> West Ham's already sold out as well, so I have to go on ticket exchange again. Um, but yeah, it's mad. It's good though. Like, it's good for the team. The team is doing well, and that's showing because every game's selling out. So that's good. That's great for the team. So... I'm happy for the team, we're doing well. We're top of the league, uh, currently top of the Europa League group, obviously we lost uh, to PSV. Uh, but, you know, it's looking good. Um, a lot of our fans believed that we could win the league. I do not believe so. I want us to win the league, sure. I'd, I'd love that. And I'm happy to be top right now. But if you look at Man City squad, and you look at who they got up front as well, over 38 games, It'd be very hard to beat that and it's it's not just because of how good their squad is our squad isn't like it's too thin our squad doesn't have enough depth to challenge for the league title we've been doing well up to this point and we've definitely surpassed a lot of people's ex expectations with to last this long uh but over 38 games over a whole season the squad we have is not enough we got a good starting 11 but once we get a few injuries or players get tired and then we're screwed so we need to strengthen in January because our squad right now is not big enough to challenge. Um, but yeah, we've done well so far. I'm happy with the team and happy with how we've been doing. I want to win the league. Of course I do. But um, top four, I think, is still the season's target. So, uh, But it's good. Like This good start, the more points we have right now, the better it is for our top four at the end of the season. Today is a game that we should win. We really should win the game, <laughs> regardless of what our targets are. This is a winnable game. Uh, we've been playing a lot, obviously, and players might be tired, etc. But there's no excuses for today. We should be beating Forrest at home. No disrespect to Forrest, though. <laughs> we do have a bit of history of them. Um, I think they're the reason we wear our colours. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm off to the game now. So uh, let's skip to the Emirates. Ah, oh. here, here we are. There it is in all this beauty. It's been a while. I've not been here since. I came back from Australia. I, went, I landed from Australia. I came here to buy to buy a shirt. <laughs> and it wasn't even there, the pink one. The next time I come here, it'll be rugby. <laughs> it's a rugby World Cup game here, you know, in a, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> That's kind of depressing. Like I've come by mid-November and I've come here as much time for rugby and not for football. That's not good. It's only 11.30. Um, the game starts at two. I am so early that the gates aren't open yet, unless you're a VIP. And also, they haven't even closed the roads near the stadium yet. I'm that early. Well, did you know my name is engraved here at the Emirates? So uh, let me show you. There's Tony. The ticket was 40 quid, it's actually 27. It was cheaper than I remember. 
I've, I've bought it myself and I can't remember the price of the ticket. 27 pounds. Elite price considering I had to buy it from a reseller. There is a statue of my childhood hero, Thierry Henry. And my name is right there. More time just to show off. Wondering why my YouTube name? It's because I don't use my surname for personal reasons. And I can't just say David, because there's like a million Davids in the world. So I want my YouTube name. That's it, I don't use my surname. That's the main reason. Go to the club shop because like, there's a sweatshirt version of this, which I really wanted. I wanted it more than this one. Um, but Arsenal is sold out. Um, apart from, unless you're a small size, which I'm not, clearly. Um, I found this on Adidas, actually, yeah, that's website, not Arsenal. Um, maybe, if anyone's gonna have it, it's the stadium, right? So what's going on here? Oh yes, members discount as well. First game up, you know. I went straight to the hoodie section. Hoodie and jumpers, that's where it would normally be. I was just like, it's not here, it's not here. Damn it, it's sold out. Of course it is, the shop is full. And then, like, I thought to myself, hey, you know what, I'm in the shop. For the sake of the vlog, you know, for the, for the vlog aesthetics, let's get a video of the, of the shop. Right, so I went to the other side where all the Arsenal shirts are, the, good, the jerseys. And I thought, yeah, let's take a little video here. And right in front of me are the, are the sweatshirts, right in front of me. What are the chances? All because I wanted to get a video. <laughs> uh, I'm walking towards Herbert Champer, Herbert Chapman, one of our greatest ever managers. I mean, it's not literally him, but yeah, that's cool. This is the away section. Could I get lucky again? An official drinks partner of Arsenal, our KSI and Logan Paul's Prime. Never tried it. I wonder if they have it here. The three sections, they've got Prime, just one flavor. They've got plenty of it. They got like hundreds of bottles, only one flavor. I'll try it. But the Tropical Punch audience, Arsene Wenger and uh, Ian Wright, they're going to tell me how good it is, you know. It's nice and cold. Not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. 7 out of 10. That prime bottle cost £4.50. Like, are you mad? Why is it £4.50 for one bottle? My view at the North Bank, next to where the cannon is, opposite the tunnel. It's elite. I love sitting here, like lower tier, like row 20. Best place to be, for me anyway. The wind today would be amazing. It would make my day, because I'm going to go home I'm gonna play Call of Duty, I'm gonna eat a lot of salmon, and I'm gonna watch the Mexican Grand Prix in the F1. So I, I need Arsenal to win to make it a perfect day, otherwise I'm gonna go home miserable, Tim Anger out on Call of Duty, <laughs> and be angry at the F1 as well. So it, it, Arsenal need to win to set the tone for my day. Yeah, like even like for the team on a like more serious note, like our next game is Zurich in Europa League. We've got to like at least draw the game so we can finish top. And that's important because then we skip around. Um, so that's that's big for us when you, and we avoid like there's a playoff round against Champions League dropouts So we want to avoid that round by finishing first Then three days after that is Chelsea away And then we got Brighton in the League Cup, Carabao Cup And then we got Wolves away Those are our last four games after this before the World Cup break So uh, it's really important to win this game because this is the most winnable game out of all of them If we can win this game finish top on Thursday then we go into Chelsea game with momentum that's a tough game that's going to be tough for Stamford Bridge but if we can come out of this whole period without losing again that would be amazing um, but we need to try and get as many points as possible and uh, three points today is necessary for sure um, regardless of what our targets are my prediction is a 2-0 Arsenal win so bring it on look at that sponsorship prime Damn, KSI has made it so far, man. He just realised it's there as well. We need to get the reaction. So let's have a look back. It's happening. Is it a yes? We need a thumbs up from up there. I think 
look at that. Unreal. At the start of the game, the sun was out. Now it's raining. Yes. <laughs> the only downside to a great final victory. When the game started, actually, as it started, the sun started shining in our eyes, like actually where I was sitting. So like around my, my section, we were watching the game like this, like trying to see us attacking on the other side of the, other side of the pitch. Uh, we saw the uh, Martinelli header. That was a good header, good headed goal. Could have been two or three nil actually, but um, yeah, we had a good start. We didn't capitalize on it enough. Forest had a couple chances here and there, but half chances, like the best chances they had, were the ones that we gave them. We gave the ball away, even in our own box. I don't know what we were doing towards the end of the first half, but we got away with it. We got away with it. It's fine. Second half, we came out, scored four goals. Um, Saka went off injured in the first half, unfortunately. Hopefully, it's not too serious. Reese Nelson came on. He wants more opportunities with the with the team. He came on. He scored twice. So fair enough. Um, party with an incredible top corner screen screamer as well. And Odegaard made it five. Could have been more. Um, we played well today. And uh, yeah, it is Forest. And as I said, like it's, it's a game we should win, and we have. We've won it comfortably. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy. And uh, we needed to get the three points, and we've got that now. So uh, our last two league games before the World Cup. Chelsea and Wolves away two very tough games hopefully we can uh, get points out of those as well but they're two very tough games so uh, I just hope it goes well for us uh, before the big World Cup break but yeah it's nice to be back good atmosphere as well like one of the things that Arsenal fans are criticised for is uh, not having enough of atmosphere at the Emirates this season it's been better as I've heard and I've been here now to experience it <laughs> this season um, and yeah it's, it's loud uh, the atmosphere is good uh, so yeah, that, that's good for the club as well. So uh, yeah, um, hopefully at some point in my life I'll be here on a more regular basis. On a regular basis, because I'd go to more games if I could. I'm in the vlog here, so I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I certainly had a good time. Apart from the rain right now, not very nice. I'm gonna wait way home now. You know, uh, I'm very privileged. I only live like 20 minutes on the train away, so you know, <laughs> so it's, a, it's it's not a long journey. Anyway, I'm gonna get home. It's rain. It's starting to rain heavier now. This is your boy Davidoff, please like, share, subscribe, thanks for watching, have a good day, and see ya. Yeah. Oh, 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 o